Well, thank you so much for being here tonight. So one of the things with Hope Leadership Academy that is huge is the idea of mentorship. Um, for somebody like yourself that had such a fantastic career, did you have the opportunity of having any mentors or in turn, have you been able to mentor anyone? I think I'm in the return, you know, after experiencing life like I did, um, be able to mentor young people, I think it's so important, you know, in the time that we're living in, uh, uh, to be able to care for them even more than before because of social media and the different time that they live in and um, the anxiety and depression and you know the suicide thoughts that kids have today um, we need we need leaders we need people who care and who can get outside of themselves and just really say you know it, it's really important to encourage kids that um, greatness is on the inside of them and uh, that's important because I believe if we can give that to them uh, it will give them some type of hope well and you know in turn people would look at you I mean I'm as a huge baseball fan still am growing up but four world championships eight times you know all all star and then rookie of the year it's like pretty impressive resume but it came at a cost with some of your personal struggles so kind of what it, how did you conquer those vices within your life well first of all it's a price to pay you know being famous you know I think everybody um, has this proclaim over their life they want to be famous but you don't really know what you're walking into once you get into that and, and for myself as a young man I was the same way I wanted to be a professional athlete but I just didn't know uh, the price that I would have to pay you know with dealing with people and media and, and all the things that uh, occur but at the same time you know being able to uh, be an overcomer you know I could have continued to sit on the sideline and, and call myself a victim uh, of society or whatever my struggles was and I had to pick myself up and I was raised well by my mama and, and I just didn't listen to her. So, <laughs> so that kind of tells you what happens, you know, uh, you fall through the cracks of life and, and then, then you wake up one day and all of a sudden you become everything that mama wanted you to be. And, and that's what's so really important. Um, I do know I have that as a background for myself and I'm truly grateful uh, that, I, that I had that because that inspired me to get up and get going. Um, I'm curious, when did you know that baseball would be more than just a passion as a little kid and could be a career that, you know, you would excel at and be one of the best ever? When was that aha moment? Or is it still a pinch me moment? I, well, I knew that when I was 14 years old. You know, I, you got to dream big, you know, and if you don't dream for yourself, then it can never become a reality for you. So I think that's what it really was for me, the excitement of dreaming big and, and, and making the reality re um, come to light uh, but I had to work at it and work hard at it and uh, to be able to achieve it because along the lines you're gonna always have people doubting you and, and saying that you you can't uh, I, I've always told kids don't ever listen to someone say you can't run because you can you can do whatever you want when you put your mind to it and if you believe it you can achieve it and it's so important I feel that you share your story so thank you for doing that but why for you is it important why now why take the time to to talk to families to talk to youth to share what you've been through and how you've been able to overcome it well I think because of my faith uh, you know God called me I'm you know I'm not just a baseball player you know I'm a man of faith I'm a you know I'm a traveling evangelist I, I, I travel the country 250 times out of year preaching the gospel I mean I have a whole new life um, outside um, your story is 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 it could turn into a great message uh, to bring about hope and awareness of what's really out there, and we need to educate our young kids. It's out there, you know the the traps and the holes. They're, they're real. They're out there, and if you don't um, apply yourself to some principles, you'll find yourself settling for just about anything. And I found myself settling for anything, but and I was able to. Uh, look up and, and, and call up on, you know, on the name of the Lord and, and to be transformed and changed and healed and, and to be respected as a man, not a baseball player, but a, as a man of God. I love it. I could talk to you for hours. Thanks so much for taking the time. <laughs>